What's up guys, Fatty Nancy checking in. So what we're gonna learn how to do now is we're gonna learn how to do a proper barbell row. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the mechanics of it, how to do it correctly, how to do it incorrectly, and some common mistakes in between. Okay, so first thing I want you to be aware of while you're doing this is tucking your elbows. So you wanna think of your elbows kinda of tucked at a 45 degree angle while you're doing this. Basically this is gonna help bring the bar down to somewhere around our waist area. Right. First thing we want to do is tuck our elbows. Grip, what I do and what I want you to do is just somewhere right around shoulder, shoulder width apart. Some people grip out way too wide and start doing rows. Those are different types of rows and different exercises uh, which we can get into at a different time. For sake of example, what I want you to do is just right outside of shoulder width apart. The next thing I want you to do is hinge at your hips. Think of like an action figure um, that you played with as a kid. Um, they hinge in certain directions. So what I want you to do is hinge at your hips while keeping your knees soft. What I mean by knees soft is I don't want you locking your knees. Okay, if you lock your knees and do a row, you're putting way too much pressure on your hamstrings and your glutes, and we're not gonna be able to pull as much weight as we might have been able to, and we're gonna save ourselves from injury, okay? I'm gonna dissect the bar about mid-foot, all right? And then grip the bar about shoulder width apart and stay tight in my core, okay? So I don't wanna be breathing here. I don't wanna be breathing into my chest. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna roll over, I'm gonna roll forward, and then the bar is gonna be everywhere. You wanna look at the bar in relation to my arm, basically a straight line. I'm gonna demonstrate a few good repetitions from the side and from the front, and then we'll show you some common mistakes. dissect the bar. What I mean by dissect the bar with our foot is that I don't want to be too far behind it. I don't want the bar too close to me. So about mid-foot. We want to try and create as straight of a line as possible. While we're doing the rows, I don't want you looking all over the place, looking to see who walked in, who's watching you. You want to just stay solid, keep your eyes on one piece of equipment or just one spot on the floor uh, and that's going to prevent from like neck strains and injury. As we're doing barbell rows, it's inevitable that we're going to get some swinging in, okay? There's a good type of swinging and a bad type of swinging. So a bad type of swinging. Grab the bar, we're hinging at our hips, everything's great. We start moving up, start moving forward, getting our shoulders involved. Okay. or just the bar is kind of all over the place. You don't want to be doing that for a few reasons. Uh, it's a back exercise, all right? So we want to work our back primarily. Our biceps are going to be our secondary muscles, but we don't want to really focus on that. Primary muscles are back. If you feel like at any point you're out of control, and you're not going at that speed that I just demonstrated, we need to lower the weight. Okay, the weight is going to come over time. Don't worry about the way we want to focus more on form. This, all these dumbbells here, everything is a tool. So if we don't use these tools properly, we're going to get injured and we're going to hurt ourselves. The other common mistake is keeping our elbows out. And what that, what that does is put too much strain on our shoulders. So this is the incorrect way. Can you stand uh, to the side, please? You'll see when I do this, the bar is not coming to my torso anymore. It's coming more to uh, my chest and sternum area. Remember, tuck your elbows. I'm trying to squeeze the bar. That's how we do popular barbell rows.